Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Elder Scrolls Online discussion. We've got a little bit of gameplay going in the background, continuing to level up my Dragon Knight Dark Elf character and that Pyromancer style build. And today I just want to talk with you a little bit as to how the first week of this game has been progressing, well, rather, the first early access week, as it were. Uh, so in this last video, I talked with you about how day one went, and it was overall a pretty smooth experience, probably actually one of the better launches of of an MMO that I've ever been a part of. There was only a little bit of lag that only briefly lasted in the major town, and in 12 hours of playtime, I had only encountered three bugs. So that first day was pretty smooth, and it more or less went off without a hitch. The second day was pretty much about the same thing. I actually encountered no lag issues, and there was a couple more bugged quests, but overall, uh, it still wasn't much. However, as we then moved into the three-day early access tier, Things started to go a little south, and this past 24 hours have actually been a bit of a hot mess. So since the start of the three-day early access, there have actually been numerous issues that weren't present in those first couple of days. Uh, we've had a bunch of server rollbacks in which people would lose progress, losing experience, uh, losing uh, any quests that they may have turned in in that process. Basically, the server would just become unresponsive all of a sudden, and then you'd have to log out, and when you log back in, you'd be rolled back uh, sometimes a significant amount of time. Uh, for me, it was never anything more than 10 or 15 minutes worth of playtime. I can't speak for other people. People, uh, but I do know other people have also experienced those specific rollbacks. And then all of a sudden they disabled the mailing feature in this game. So you couldn't send mail, you couldn't receive mail, uh, nothing like that. And then I started to see reports. I didn't personally see this, but I, I saw several people reporting that they would get kicked from the server. And then when they tried to log back into their account with their account information, when the login completed, they were in someone else's account. Like they were in the create character screen of someone else's account and they could log in and play someone else's character. I don't even know how that happens. Obviously wires are getting crossed somewhere and there's some crazy mix up going on on the server side of things, but that's absurd. I have honestly never heard of such a situation occurring before in any MMO that I've ever played. I've never heard of this circumstance. It's, it is mind boggling to me. It really blows my mind. It's absolutely crazy. And I've heard it from both ends. I've heard people say, they got booted from the server, they logged back in with their account information, they were placed into someone else's account, and then I also heard people reporting at the same time that they would be in the middle of playing, and then they would be kicked and, and informed that someone else has logged into their account. Both of those situations are a huge problem. So there were reports of that going on, and then last night, they just took down the North American servers. I think it was somewhere between uh, midnight and 2 a.m. Eastern time. I know I know that because I had played around midnight and then I got ready to go to bed and I was thinking about actually just staying up and playing a little bit more. But when I checked uh, to see what the streamers were doing, all of the US streamers were down. And then this morning when I woke up, the servers were still down. So this is kind of crazy. We are in an early access period. Oh, there's a good portion of people who presumably pre-ordered the game specifically for that early access. The US servers were down, I want to say for a good 12 hours. I don't think they actually went up officially till about 2 or 3 p.m. Eastern time this afternoon. And like I said, at the latest, they were down at 2 a.m. Uh, Eastern time yesterday. So that that's a good 12-hour chunk that people who purchased early access didn't get to play. And even it, it, for me, it was frustrating alone. But I would imagine if it's even more frustrating to anyone who got the three-day early access, anyone who basically just started their early access yesterday, and then all of a sudden, a huge 12-hour chunk. Now, at least it was a 12-hour chunk that was in the middle of the night into the morning. But still, that's a big chunk of time that the servers were down and that people who, again, I'm assuming that a good portion of people who pre-order for early access did so just for early access. I myself am one of those people. I would not have pre-ordered if it wasn't for the early access. To have that, that big of a downtime is pretty frustrating and very uh, disappointing. Now, it's not more frustrating and disappointing than the fact that other people could have accidentally logged into my accounts and, and potentially just messed things up, uh, screwed up with my guild, or destroyed a bunch of my items, or took all my gold. Obviously, that would have been a lot worse. So hopefully they fixed that. I haven't seen any issues pop up since the server has restarted. But since the server has restarted, the server gameplay experience has been much worse than it was those first few days. So again, we had those first few days that were pretty fine, couple of bugs, uh, very small instances of latency. We had all that crazy stuff happen. 
Then the servers went down for 12 hours. And now since the servers has co have come up, I just finished doing a bit of a live stream and there were some significant problems I experienced. There were numerous times where the server would just become unresponsive and I couldn't do anything. I, I would be on my mount, for example, I couldn't dismount, I couldn't cast any spells, I couldn't draw dodge. It would just become completely unresponsive. I, I couldn't even log out. You would try to log out, it would do the 10 second countdown, it would get to zero and then nothing would happen. So I had to Alt F4, I wanna say three to four times in the period of playing for two hours during my live stream. I was forced to Alt F4 in order to just get back into the game. And in getting back into the game, I was immediately met with a server rollback. Those things that I just mentioned to you were happening. I would have lost some of my progress. Quests that I turned in would not be turned in. I'd be, I'd be back to an earlier portion. Of, uh, of some gameplay that I had just experienced. So, I have stopped, I just played those two hours, I finished that stream, it was a bit of a mess. I have to be honest with you, it's really disappointing. And the, the, the only difference that I see from those first couple of days that was pretty darn smooth and maybe one of the best launch experiences of an MMO that I've ever had and what we have experienced in the past 24 hours or so is the inclusion of more people from the three day early access. That is the only difference that, that I can see on my end. Obviously something could be going on on Zenimax's side that, that information I'm just not privy to, but from an outside looking in, it looks like this is the result of more people playing. And if that's the case, I don't even wanna think about two days from now when we get the, the full release of this game and we get a huge swarm of more people, if it's gonna be much worse, if we're gonna have all these problems all over again, I have to say I'm a bit concerned. Now again, we're still in early access. The game technically isn't officially launched, but hell, it should be officially launched for anyone who pre-ordered just for that early access. So this is frustrating, but launch launch week woes, right? This is not without precedent. I say that, I use that phrase a lot. Uh, this is not without precedent, it isn't. The launch week of MMOs, of online connected games, tend to be a bit of a mess, but I did want to keep you guys up to date. I did just want to express what was going on and give you guys just sort of my perspective on it. So that's where we're at with uh, ESO right now. It's uh, it's a bit sloppy right now. In fact, the guild stuff were, were disabled until like two minutes ago. They just re-enabled it. All this guild stuff that I had I'd worked on all last night, I logged in and all of a sudden my guild didn't exist. And I was like, what the, are you kidding me? <laughs> So yeah, th that's the current state. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated uh, once things smooth out eventually. If it stays a hot mess for the next few days, uh, I'll also let you know about that. Also plan to expect some just standard coverage of the game beyond just these sort of update reports. Uh, I'll be giving you some gameplay footage and discussion and guides and stuff like that. Of course, in addition, to all the rest of my content that we do here on this channel. All right, guys, that's gonna do it here. Thank you so much for watching uh, this Elder Scrolls Online discussion video with some launch week woes. It's a bit scary, but hopefully it gets fixed. I'll uh, keep you guys updated, and I'll see you around next time. Keep watching and keep owning.